What's going on YouTube, Redcon family? We are at the Redcon 1 gym. So we did a dumbbell only shoulder workout last time we were here. Put the link up either right now or at the end. Um, today we're gonna be doing a dumbbell only leg workout. Now I know what you're wondering, how could you get a good workout only using dumbbell with legs, especially being one of the strongest people in the world. Dumbbells don't go up that much. Well, we're gonna get it done today and I'm gonna show you how. There's three techniques that, um, well, three kind of bullets that's gonna play into the leg workout. So first one's gonna be intensity. That's gonna be for all workouts, not just this dumbbell only leg workout, but um, using different unilateral, uh, one leg only, so the weight is heavier. You know, increase um, reps, 20 rep range, not going low. Um, tempo, we're not taking that long of a break. So we're gonna, the goal here is to achieve muscle failure on just about everything. Um, the second thing is different lifting techniques. I said it uh, kind of goes along with intensity. We're gonna be doing drop sets. Um, you can do cluster sets, giant sets. And as I mentioned, unilateral, we're gonna be doing that with Bulgarian split squats you'll see and lunges, which is the bread and butter of a dumbbell only leg workout. The second thing is range, or the third thing is range of motion. So we're gonna be doing not range of motion in terms of like increasing the range of motion, but more changing the angles and targeting different muscles. You're gonna see that on two different types of goblet squats we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be doing a goblet squat where we're elevated and the dumbbell is gonna be moving more freely. You're gonna have more room to work there. It's gonna work the glutes and the hamstrings more. And then we're gonna be doing goblet squats with our heels elevated. That's gonna take the pressure off of the glutes and the hamstrings. It's gonna be more quads, more like a sissy squat. Goblet squats, Bulgarian split squats, heel elevated goblet squats, lunges, and we're gonna finish with a very explosive athletic workout, which is jump squats. They are terrible. This is gonna be fun. Let's get to it. So first exercise with the dumbbell only leg workout, we're gonna start with goblet squats here. I have two benches set up. What we're gonna do is to increase the range of motion. You're gonna step up on them. You can do this with benches or if you pile up, step up blocks high enough to do this. Let the dumbbell hang. It's gonna go down. You want a little tighter than 90 degrees. So this is 90, you wanna bring it a little bit lower. That's gonna cause the, the, the glute and the hamstrings to really be activated here. And you're gonna come up. So what's good about this is, like I said, we're gonna be going heavier. And you could do the same range of motion up here, and we're gonna do this later. You could do the same range of motion, but the heavier you go, it, it, you're gonna be working upper body at that point, trying to hold this weight up, which is good if you're doing that. But right now we're gonna be focused only on legs, so we're gonna to wanna to drop this down. And as you see why we're doing it elevated, because I can't get past here with this, with the ground here. So we're gonna get up on here, up the weight, and get some good reps in. Woo. I already feel that in my glutes already. At the top, if you squeeze them, man, you're gonna feel that burn. When you have a, a range of motion you can play around with, you can target whatever muscle you wanna do. So if you wanna hit your glutes, like I said, you go deep, you come up, you're squeezing tight. If you wanna work quads, just work on that first half right here. You don't have to go all the way down if you don't wanna work the glutes and the hamstrings, but this is a good exercise to start because it works everything. So we're getting nice and warmed up here. Okay, we're at a top set at the highest weight here at the gym, 160 pounds. And here's when you're gonna see why this isn't gonna work with this. You wanna drop it down. You wanna have that increased range of motion with this. We're also gonna add a different lifting technique here. We're gonna do some pulsing reps. That's, you're gonna go down, pulse half rep, back down, up, full rep. These burn. <laughs> oh. Three, 
Oh, man. This is a great workout for the ladies because this kills your glutes, man. This is brutal. Whew. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. You see, I over exaggerate my toes outwards. If you bring them in like this, you're not going to be able to get that low. You want to bring them out so you can really sink your butt into the rep. All right, for exercise number two, we're gonna be doing the necessary evil of leg exercises, which is Bulgarian split squats. So, they're terrible, there's no way around it. Um, I read somewhere that Bulgarian split squats have more quad activation than a normal barbell squat, and I believe it. If you've done these and done them properly, we're gonna be implementing the unilateral here. We're gonna be having one foot on the bench, just squatting on one leg, and I like to set myself up, I like having a landmarker of where my feet are gonna be. So I already measured it up. I go based off whatever, you could put a quarter on the ground, anything. So I have this line right here. I'm gonna be towing that line the whole time. So I'm gonna have one foot on the bench like this. You want this at a 90 degree angle. You don't want your knee over your toes. You don't wanna be acute like this. Nice 90 here. You don't wanna be too wide like this. Find a good landmarker, measure it out before you get into it. Toe in this line the whole time. I'm gonna come down, up. And I'm gonna do about five each side. I'm gonna switch every five. You can switch five to 10. You can do all one leg, then switch. I like to switch it up halfway through because sometimes if you've done this, you'll feel even the leg you have up gets worked. So I don't wanna work this to the point where when I do when I switch that this is exhausted and I can't do the same amount of reps for this leg. So I like switching it up. We're gonna get into it. Hey, that's only 40 pounds each hand, and I'm hurting. I did six one side, switch six for a total of 12 each leg. I think we're gonna go up and wait and probably keep the same amount of reps here. Okay, this is the third exercise. This is the worst leg exercise in the history ever because I created it and I don't do things easy. <laughs> this is, I don't even know what to call it. Tiger's lunge relay. I call it a relay because we're gonna use four different weights. We're gonna do 40s, 50s or 60s, 80s and 100s. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna lunge on this walkway here we're gonna start with the 40s. We're gonna go, I'm only gonna do 10 lunges, 10 this way, 10 that way. And with the 40s, you go down, back, down, back. You drop the 40s, you pick up the 60s or the 50s. You go down, back, down. Then you relay again. With the 80s, you go down, back. And then with the 100s, 
you just go down. So the reps start high, the weight starts low, and then it flip flops. The reps get lower and then the weight gets higher. This is brutal. I remember I did this for the first time probably about six years ago. And uh, I remember the day after I felt so sore. I couldn't move. Like my, my glutes especially and my quads were just destroyed. So we're gonna do this right now and I'm probably gonna feel the same way tomorrow. But in terms of a dumbbell exercise for legs, lunges, unilateral, intensity, drop set, everything all in one. Let's get it done. Before we get into the lunge relay, we're gonna do some intros because I'm leaking. So we need some hydration, we need some essential aminos so our muscle doesn't eat itself. And we're gonna do some carbs to help fuel this set. I got the weight set up, the 40s over here. I went with the 60s because if you're always deciding between a lower weight and a higher weight, you go with the higher weight. The 80s over there and the 100s over there, I have it this way because it works out with the the down and back, it goes right into the, the next weight. I have these on because trying to hold dumbbells for this long and trying to get a good lower body workout is just not practical. So we're gonna use these to wrap around the dumbbells to help our grip. So we're gonna start with the 40s, down back, down back. It's like I said, every time you do it, you just kind of think the hard part's over. Next set, the hard part's over. It only gets easier, it only gets easier. You do the 40 and then you only have 30. You do 30, you only have 20. And then you only got one more after that. Even though the weight gets heavier, you can't think about that. You just gotta get it done. Fourth exercise, we're gonna be doing heel elevated goblet squats. The, the key with this is you wanna keep your back as straight up and down as you can because you want to keep all the emphasis on the quads. So it's going to be like a sissy goblet squat kind of because your heels are going to be elevated. So you really want to exaggerate, keeping the back straight at all times and then coming up. It's going to be a lot easier when your heels are elevated. You don't need to do a crazy amount of weight with this. We're going to have the weight up here, holding it higher. Instead of before, like we did with the other goblet squat, we had it down low. You want to keep it up here. We're going to do a narrow stance. Focus solely on the quads here. I have just a 25 pound plate to elevate the heels. Okay, here we are, last fifth and final exercise of the 
dumbbell only leg workout. We're gonna be doing explosive and some cardio work. It's gonna, it's gonna build muscle too, but explosive and cardio, I like to implement at least one explosive exercise every workout. Explosiveness is huge in athletics, performance, health, getting your heart rate up, well-being, everything. Um, it helps with other lifts for powerlifting, which you know helps for strength. So you're able to do more weight for more reps, bodybuilding, hypertrophy, everything. Explosiveness. John Meadows, rest in peace, was a huge believer in explosive exercises. So we're gonna finish off with one, a killer jump squats. Now, if you wanna get real froggy and you're still feeling good after all this, you could change the squat to a jump lunge, an alternating jump lunge, another great athletic movement. I probably can't do too many of these right now because I'm hurting, but let's see what we can do. That's a wrap, that's a wrap. All right guys, that was the end of the dumbbell only leg workout. Um, pretty awesome workout altogether. So I've been struggling with leg workouts the past couple days, past like five days. I think I tried to lift legs like three times in the past five days and my lower back's just been killing me for some reason. So one thing I didn't talk about, which is great for dumbbell exercises is there's no load on your back. You're not putting a lot of crazy pressure on your lower back, your traps, anything like that. So it's really good if you have back problems. Um, I didn't feel my lower back at all, even on the goblet squat where you're kind of in a, in a lower back working zone. Still, it's a lot easier than having a load on your back doing back squats. So that felt phenomenal. I really needed that. Um, I think we hit everything we, need, we wanted to. The intensity was there. The different range of motions were there with the goblet squats, the heel elevated, the uh, goblet squats on the bench to get low, activate the glutes. The different lifting techniques were there on the, the lunges, the unilateral stuff, the, the drop sets, that was all around. Phenomenal workout for me. I hope you guys can do that and uh, experience what I just felt, because that was great. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about was going to failure. As you saw towards the end, I started failing a bit and failure is a great thing. I try to achieve failure every single workout. I know a lot of people are very skeptical about going to failure. So I'll explain it like this. I explain everything in military science terms because I took a lot of military science classes. So picture your, your muscles have layers, like, like a legion army. You have the front lines and then everyone that comes after that. So you want all the legions, all the legionnaires and soldiers to experience battle. So you have these columns of soldiers. If just the first wave is, is getting in the battle and the battle's done, you still have the whole army that needs to get activated. That's your entire muscle. So if you do a weight and it's super light, you know, it's great. You do 10 reps, you're done, whatever. But if only that first initial wave is getting action, you're not really working anything. So you want to keep going with the reps, with the sets, with the intensity, and you want to achieve failure. You want every single column of soldiers to experience battle. But this is where people have a misconception. At the end of the, the army is what? Your king. You don't want your king to get killed. So you need to know it, it, it takes time. It takes a lot of time training to know your limits, when to go to failure and when to, when to not push it past. So you want all those legions to get in the fight, but you don't want that king to get hurt. So we did that here. We knew what to do, when to do it, and that's great. Um, the lunges, the relay lun lunges, I, I really I really hope you guys try that. That was killer. Um, all around great workout. Thank you guys for tagging along. Thank you Redcon, Redcon fans, Redcon One Gym, Kyle, 
I'll be back at you with some more heavy lifting, some more tutorial stuff. I'll catch you next time.